Hey summoners, make sure you're subscribed to the Mobilytics YouTube channel and hit that bell button, that way you're always up to date and part of our notification squad. Hello summoners and welcome back to the Mobilytics patch 8.15 video tier list. With this patch, we have the brand new Akali rework, a couple crit itemization buffs, as well as seeing Ari make her way into S tier for mid lane. As always here at Mobilytics, if there's a new champion or a new rework, for the first patch that they are live, we do not choose to place them on the tier list, as it would be too hard to predict where they might be. Overall, Akali seems pretty good and has a great kit for snowballing and especially in solo queue, but we will not be seeing her on this week's tier list. Anyway, let's jump into the list. Starting off for top lane, we've got some good mix up in the lower tiers. Got some new picks in B tier like Jarvan and Renekton, Aatrox has dropped his way down from S into A, Poppy has moved her way into A, and we do see someone new in S tier. Trindamir, and more specifically the AP Trindamir variant, seems quite good for solo queue, and he's very scary once he gets ahead. A couple patches ago, Riot buffed AP Trindamir because they lowered the cooldown on his spin, meaning that his spin max in an AP variant build becomes incredibly scary. Longtime challenger player and Trindamir one tricked Fogged for the win too, has been playing the AP Trindamir and popping off. For all of the things that a Trindamir player would care about, like fighting and farming, he is doing very well across the board. Another champion that has slotted their way into A tier is Gangplank. Now this is because not only is Gangplank popping up even more than we expected in competitive play, but also the crit itemization buffs are nice for him as well. You don't have to go PD into IE anymore, but if you do want to build Storm Razor, it's a great item for Gangplank. They were already building it, and the item got buffed. So watch out for Gangplank making his way back into competitive play, and especially for solo queue being a great pick. Onto the jungle roll, where Graves has moved his way back into S tier after being A for a patch, as well as a few mix arounds here and there. We have Nidalee, Lee Sin coming back, but overall the jungle roll is pretty stable. As we mentioned, Lee Sin is back, and this is because he got some great buffs on this patch. They changed the way his Q missing health and execute works, so this means that pretty much almost all of the time, Lee Sin is going to be dealing more damage with this. This could bring back the viability of a full AD Lee Sin assassin build. And if not, well, we'll just have to see how good he is then. And lastly for jungle, don't sleep on Vi, although she's still in B tier because she's not optimal and does get outclassed by other junglers, as far as solo queue goes, with the buff she received, her play rate and win rate went up quite a bit. Having her ultimate, which is the most important and impactful part of her kit, be a lower cooldown just gives her more agency in the game. Alright, onto the mid lane tier list where we do see a lot of very hard to play champions at the top of the tier list, where we have things like Aurelian Soul, Twisted Fate, and even an A tier Talia, Zoe, LeBlanc, and Yasuo. Almost all of the mid lane picks are pretty hard to play and hard to master champions, except for Wukong, if you want to pick him you can just be a monkey. As we said in the intro, Ari is now S tier and the champion is insanely good. What makes her so good is the buff she received where she doesn't have to two point her charm anymore because the rank 1 charm is great. You're not going to oom yourself as easily in lane by spamming your E and trying to fish for charms and this also means because the charm duration was increased that it allows you to get one or two more autos in there and assist your jungler. Her pre 6 is better than it's ever been. Another mid lane champion that's been rising up and now finds his way into A tier is Malzahar. This champion is historically good in solo queue due to his ultimate being point and click and valuable. But we're seeing him more and more rise up and his stats are looking good, his play rate's looking good. The champion's not that bad right now and he does kind of shut down other assassins which people are playing a lot of. The silence, the pushing power, and obviously his point and click ultimate are all good things to help shut down assassin players. And then the rest of the mid lane tier list is pretty standard stuff. Syndra got some nice buffs, Oriana popularity has been rising up, Rumble in the mid lane is quite good, and Anivia dropped down from S into A because the meta just doesn't favor her as well as other champs. 
Onto our favorite Reddit posters in the bottom lane, we have a couple new AD carries making their way back into S tier. We still have Swain, we still have Yasuo, and Mordekaiser popping up in S as well, and Heimerdinger is still broken. The reason the Marksmen are higher up than they've been in the last couple of patches is due to the buffs, and Stormraiser has just turned out to be the best first item. And with the buffs to Stormraiser, this means that ADCs do kind of spike on one item now. A champion like Jin is S tier due to the fact that already he's very successful with the Hail of Blades into Stormraiser playstyle, and this is just going to get better and better for him. Jin spikes hard on his Stormraiser power spike, and spikes even harder on his two items when he gets to Rapid Fire Cannon. Both of these items had their costs reduced, which means that very quickly Jin is going to get to those two items. I Keep It Taco, or Jordanian Sniper, is a guy that has been playing Jin for a very long time. He's one of the highest elo Jin one tricks, and you can see his GPI, he's doing great. He does like the Hail of Blades into Stormraiser playstyle, and we think it's quite good as well. For both of the players that we've shown today, both I Keep It Taco and Fogged, if you want to check out their GPIs or your GPI to see where you struggle or where you have strengths, make sure you check out the product at mobilytics.gg and go check out your gamer performance index. Some other crit marksmen are coming back, Sivir got buffs on the previous patch, and watch out for Jinx. If you have a duo queue and you know how to play Jinx, don't underestimate how good she is right now. Lastly, let's talk support, where Pike has finally moved his way into S tier, as well as Sona making her way into S. You will notice a theme with the support picks on this patch because their itemization in the early game was changed around a little bit, making all of the support gold items and the income items cost 50 more gold. This means that supports can no longer start 3 potions or refillable, and you're forced to start your 2 potions. So sustain options became better, and poke options became better as well, because you'll feel that poke, so things like Brand and Zyra in the bot lane become even better. This is also the exact explanation as for why Sona is good. Sona is a poke and healing support, so when the enemy support has less potions to work with, this means that she becomes a top tier champion. Sona's laning is decent, but where she really thrives is in the late game teamfights, where Sona scales like a monster. Again, you'll kind of see this theme for the rest of the support picks. Soraka is a great champion now due to the less potions, so sustain is a better option. Bard dropped down a little bit, but is still a pretty good champion, and we definitely recommend Bard if you're good at him. And Fiddlesticks did receive some direct nerfs to his E, so he goes from S into A, but is still a great support. And lastly, Morgana did receive a pretty big nerf. Her Black Shield now cost 80 at all ranks instead of 50, and her mana was nerfed, so Morgana is going to be struggling a bit more. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for the Mobilytics patch 8.15 video tier list. Make sure you follow us on all of our socials and you check out the product at mobilytics.gg. Go check out your GPI and see how you compare to the best of the best players on the Summoner's Rift.